we lived on a compound and I, we had a little church, concrete block church. We didn't have any windows. There was no glass. They couldn't get glass. We had no windows. They were just wood. And you push it out with a stick when it was time for worship. And I went over one afternoon to that church and went in and it's dark. We had no chairs, no pews. Everyone sat on the floor. And I walked up, made my way up to the pulpit and I just sit down on that old rough concrete floor and I sit there and I was angry. I was angry at God because that was my child. You see, my babies, they weren't called to be missionaries. Their mother and father were called. I pray constantly for special blessings upon, they're called PKs or MKs. PKs are preacher's kids, MKs are missionaries' kids. They go along with their parents, they're not called. And I sit down on the floor crying uncontrollably angry and I said, God, you call me to hear and, and we've come to do what you've asked us to do. Why is it that you cannot take care of this thing with my, my baby. You know, God knows what's in our heart. We may not say that kind of prayer, but it's oftentimes in our heart. We're angry in our heart. We, we don't understand and God knows it. God doesn't just listen to our words. He always looks at the heart and sees if our words agree with our heart and and I, I just poured out my heart and angry and upset, why? And as I, I sit there on that old concrete floor far from anyone, we had an old rough cross about that same size on the back of the wall. And I was sitting looking at it, sitting on that floor. And slowly, as it happens in darkness, after you're there a while, you begin to see. And of course, I'd been crying so hard I couldn't see, but I begin to see. And I saw the cross. And I remembered that God the Father gave his son who died for us. And he said, I would not ask you to do something that I would, did not do or would not do. It was a matter of days till it was gone. She was completely healed. God helped us. I learned to trust God. Even when you are planted and you know that this is where God wants you and you're doing your very best, things will happen. The devil, the devil always tries to shake our faith. He always does. And he'll, he'll try to convince you that God doesn't care, that God has abandoned you, that you're in the wrong place, that he will tell you these things. And you look at the circumstances and you begin to agree with what the devil is, is telling you because of the circumstances. But God... God is God. God knows what he's doing. And he can do for you what needs to be done. Keep your faith and trust in God and do whatever it is where he has planted you. And we spent our three years there and came out and there was no schools for our children, our girls. It was actually a great place for the girls. They didn't wear shoes for three years. <laughs> but there was no school. There was a little school, but we, we had to leave and the Gilberts and find a place for schooling. And, and God, God knows what he's doing. In 1975, I found myself here. <laughs> 